It's not just the traveling that gets me too, it's the security measures you gotta go through all the time now. You know, you gotta go through security all the time with all the stuff and take this off and put that down and check this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But the thing that I do to beat that is I'm an observer. I watch people. I love watching people. Not too long ago, I was at the airport and I'm looking at this kid, 14-year-old kid. Folks, I wanna say something. I don't like to judge people and I really wasn't judging him. I couldn't help but notice. This kid had so much metal on his face. So many pins, hooks, earrings, rings. And I'm going, how is he gonna get through security like this? Because it looked like he fell in a tackle box, okay? That's what it looked like. It looked, <laughs> he looked like fishing lure. It looked like he would have caught a marlin. You know what I'm saying? And wouldn't you know it, wouldn't you know it, who do I sit next to on a plane but this 14-year-old kid? And he's wearing a T-shirt. Life sucks and then you die. Very optimistic. And I was very surprised because we had a conversation and this kid, we were talking about politics, this kid knew what he was talking about. And I was impressed, but I couldn't help myself again. Again, the comedian me goes rampant, goes crazy. And as, I, as I'm talking to him about the serious conversation, I couldn't help but notice. Folks, I'm not kidding you when I say this. I kept looking at him and I counted. He had 10 rings on one brow, 10 rings. And all I kept thinking of was shower curtain. That's all I kept thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? It's like, what, what is he like? Some kind of modern day pirate with a little flap? I, R, I. 